the franchise power pitcher who transformed the Mets from lovable losers into formidable foes, Tom Seaver. Where do you start? Where can you possibly start to feel the emotion? Where can you possibly start to say the words that will express what has taken place in a man's life? You could not believe it. It's absolute bedlam everywhere. For me, it's the, it is the last beautiful flower in the perfect bouquet because the 20 years that I had as a professional athlete all came together for me in this induction in the Hall of Fame. You know, I, I wish, you know, I could say that this is, you know, the culmination of all my dreams and things like that, but truthfully, I never dreamed about making the Hall of Fame. I only dreamed about making it to the major leagues. It is gone! Home run, Joe Morgan! You know, the Hall of Fame is really just icing on what has been a very big and filling cake for me. Joe Morgan, everybody's choice for the National League's most valuable player. This is what baseball is all about. We are very lucky. One of the fiercest competitors baseball has ever known. Playing baseball was my life. And it's something that I, I devoted 100% to. I want to be remembered as a person, a competitor that gave 100% every time I went out on the field. Sometimes I wasn't too good, but nobody could accuse me of cheating them out of what they paid to see. A new world record. That's it! Holy cow, what a way to end it! A strikeout gets his 300th career win. I want to leave you with this. To the people sitting in the front row, to all you people back there in the upper deck, the last row, all the way back there, I see you. This is America. America's baseball. This game is on, and it belongs to you, the fan. Cherish it and take care of it. Thank you. There is probably no one in baseball who has charmed audiences of all ages by speaking warmly of his love of the game than our next inductee. If you don't love the game, you should go out and get a new job. This is the greatest thing that ever happened to me in my lifetime. I've been fortunate enough to win world championships. Nobody thought we could beat the team who won 104 games. Nobody believed it. But the Hall of Fame is eternity. And I feel that it won't be too long that my mother will be shaking me and saying, wake up, Tommy. It's time to go to school. I am living a dream. I've wanted this for over 40 years. So why am I standing here shaking like a leaf? One of the grand masters of the game goes to the mound of the night, Don Sutton. I've had a dream come true that's a validation that what my dad taught me a long time ago is true. You can have a dream, and if you're willing to work for it, it can come true. You can earn a dream coming true. He had a unique style and grace that set him apart from the ordinary mortals of our game. You know, I've been very lucky. In fact, sometimes I feel I've been the luckiest, one of the luckiest people in the world. I played on all-star teams with the greatest players in the game. I was able to finish with over 3,000 hits. By far, being inducted into the Hall of Fame is the proudest moment of my life. The Hall of Fame has been described by many as a museum for greatness. It's also been described as a place where those players who step into the pressure of the moment and emerged as heroes. And now, I feel proud to take my seat among the greatest players ever to play Major League Baseball. Thank you. 
There are players who play the game of baseball who attempt to live up to standards. This man sets them. Whitey Ford, with 10 victories, is the winningest pitcher in World Series history. We honor very simply the greatest pitcher ever to don the pinstripes. And I grew up in uh, Long Island, uh, not too far from Yankee Stadium. I was a Yankee fan, I guess, since I was five or six years old. And uh, to think that when I was 21 years old, I'd be playing with DiMaggio and Barra, it's just been great. They call him the hammer. He is quite simply the greatest home run hitter in Major League history. A man's ability is limited only by his lack of opportunity. The sheer majesty of this occasion overwhelmed me. For truly I reflect on my life and particularly my 23 years in baseball. I am reminded of a statement I once read and I quote, the way to fame is like the way to heaven through much tribulations. What a marvelous moment. A black man is getting a standing ovation in the deep south. 23 years ago, I never dreamed that this high honor would come to me. For it was not fame I sought, but rather to be the best baseball player that I could possibly be. Thank you very much. <laughs>